hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to learn capital d and capital l notation in stereo chemistry let's go through the points that will help us building basic understanding about capital d and capital l notation this notation is mainly used for carbohydrates and amino acids there is no correlation between capital D capital L and RS or small d small l notation. To find whether a molecule has capital D or capital L configuration, we have to draw the molecule in Fischer projection in such a way that the most oxidized carbon CHO or COOH in, is on the top. It is based on only the orientation of OH on the bottommost chiral center of carbohydrate and NH2 of amino acids. Right side OH or NH2 on the bottommost chiral center suggests D configuration, while left side OH or NH2 on the bottommost chiral center suggests L configuration. Now we will go through examples. The first example is glyceraldehyde. It has one chiral center, so there will be two isomers, which can be drawn in Fischer projection like this. One thing which is to be noted here is that for determining capital D and capital L configuration, the Fischer projection should be drawn in such a way that the more oxidized carbon should be at the top. In this molecule, CHO is the most oxidized carbon, so it is on the top. We can see that in one isomer, OH on the chiral carbon is on the right, while in other it is left. The isomer having OH on the right is D-glyceraldehyde, while that having OH on the left is L-glyceraldehyde. Let's have glucose molecule. It has four chiral centers. For determining capital D, capital L configuration, we have to focus on the bottommost chiral center. Here we can see that the OH is on the right, so it is D glucose, alanine. Like glyceraldehyde, alanine also has only one chiral center. The two stereo isomers can be drawn like this. The stereo isomer having NH2 on the right is D alanine, while that having NH2 on the left is L alanine. Let's have one of the three stereo isomers of tartaric acid. Here it is drawn in flying wedge formula. With this formula, we cannot determine DL configuration. So, convert this formula into Fischer projection. The Fischer projection will be like this. Here, both the terminal carbons have the same oxidation state. So, we can take any one on the top. Here, we can see that the bottommost chiral center has OH on the left. So, it is L tartaric acid. The last example which we are going to discuss is fructose. Here also it is drawn in flying wedge formula. So we have to convert into Fischer. In this molecule, the ketonic carbon has the most oxidation state. So in the Fischer projection formula for determining DL configuration, it should be on the top. Thus the Fischer projection will be like this. Since on the bottommost chiral center, the OH is on the right, so the configuration will be D and this molecule is D fructose. That's all in this video. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching this video.